Hi, and welcome to the channel. I'm Tim. Thanks for being here. I always appreciate the time that you and I get to spend together. So thanks for tuning in. And I hope wherever you are, that you're happy, healthy, and staying safe. On today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and giving you my thoughts on a brand new coat from Nathan. It's their BFF puffer jacket. Now, before I get into it too far, I do want to get a disclosure out of the way. The BFF puffer jacket by Nathan was sent to me for the purpose of review. However, no one's paying me to make the video. No one's telling me what to say. And no one has an opportunity to preview my thoughts before I share them with you first here on YouTube. The BFF puffer jacket does retail for $200 US dollars. I think that's a really fair price given all of the different features that you're getting with this jacket. However, as of the making of this video, you can save yourself a ton of money. They're having a huge sale right now on their puffer jackets. You can pick them up for 50% off. So for 100 US dollars, you can pick this code up for yourself. So if you want to learn a little bit more about them, or maybe you do want to purchase one for yourself, I'll put a link in the description below. They'll take you right to it on their product web page. One of the things I absolutely love about this jacket by Nathan is just how versatile it is. It's not just for people who love to spend time outdoors and outdoor activities who need to stay warm. It's perfect for that. And we'll talk a lot more about that here in just a minute and why I think that it's a great jacket to have for those outdoors people. But it's also very fashionable. And now this is something that you could absolutely wear to work on those casual Fridays. You know, it comes in lots of different colors. So you've got lots of choices to be able to express yourself. It comes in pea coat dark chocolate, aster blue, and black, which is my favorite. And that's the one that I'm featuring on the video here today. I love the way this jacket looks. It's very sporty, super comfortable to wear, but how well does it perform? Will it keep me warm? What is it made of? How well did they make it? Is it lightweight and packable? Well, those are things that we're gonna focus on. So, so how lightweight and packable is this puffer jacket by Nathan? Super lightweight on my scales that came in at just 495 grams. Now that would be the equivalent of about 17.4 ounces. So kudos to Nathan. I think the warmth to weight ratio is excellent and highly packable. So I've got it in this uh, pouch right now. I wouldn't necessarily recommend storing it in a pouch like this for very long because regardless of the insulating material that the jacket might have. So if you're using traditional down material or in this case, an alternative down material, over time, if you store it packed away, it can have an impact on the ability of the material to loft. So just something for you to keep in mind. And one of the reasons why I said that this jacket was worth the retail price of 200 US dollars and a steal at 100 US dollars is because of the material of the fabric that they used to build the jacket out of. Now the outer shell, they used a Permatex shield fabric. Now this was designed for intense outdoor activity where weight is key because you wanna be as lightweight as possible, but you also wanna be comfortable. You wanna be able to move freely. And this material is windproof, it's water resistant. So it's gonna shed rain and snow, keeping you dry and comfortable and warm. So how warm? Now this jacket has a fill power rating of 600. They're using an alternative down material for insulation. Now the 600 fill power number, that refers to the loft of the insulating material that they're using. Typically fill power can range anywhere from 300 to about 900. There are some jackets that use down material that can get up to a thousand fill power rating. But just because it has a higher fill number doesn't always mean that it's going to be a warmer jacket because the fill power relates to the loft or how fluffy the insulating material is that they're using. So really, it comes down to not just the fill power rating, but also how much of that insulating material that they're using. And of course, the more material that they use, the warmer you'll be, but also the heavier the jacket. So in this case, I think Nathan did an excellent job with finding that sweet spot between still being lightweight and packable with enough insulating material with a relatively high loft number that helps keep the jacket both lightweight and warm. And I love the fact that they're using an alternative down for their insulation because you don't have to worry that the insulating material that they're using to help keep you warm has been ethically sourced or not. In other words, it's not coming from any kind of animal byproduct. 
Another great advantage to the synthetic or alternative down insulation is that it repels moisture much more effectively than traditional down material because when traditional down material gets wet, it loses its loft or its integrity and its ability to help keep you warm. And both the outer shell as well as the insulation is made from recycled material. And kudos to Nathan for doing that. I always appreciate it when companies are environmentally friendly. I think it's just great for everybody, especially our planet. And even though they're using recycled material, the outer shell is super soft and supple to the touch. Even when I had it zipped all the way up, sometimes when you do that with jackets, uh, you can get a little bit of chafing around your neck. I didn't have any kind of issues with that at all. It feels really comfortable right up against your skin. It's also really quiet to wear it. Now, I've had some puffer jackets in the past that when you walked, you can hear that swish, swish, swish as the material kind of rubs up against one another. I didn't get that at all. And it makes it much more enjoyable to wear this when I'm out, for example, at my state park where I like to do a little bit of hiking and walking the trails and enjoying just being outdoors. And it can be distracting if your clothes that you're wearing are making a lot of noise. It just takes away from that experience. But when I'm wearing the puffer jacket by Nathan here, I don't get that swish, swish, swish noise at all. I can just enjoy the surroundings around me. So let's talk about some of the other features of the jacket. Now here, I think Nathan did a really good job paying attention to some of those smaller details that mean a lot. Now on a day like today, it's about 30 degrees Fahrenheit, which would be zero degrees Celsius. We have 19 mile an hour wind gusts. And when I'm spending time out at my local state park, I don't want that wind blowing up my sleeves, which is gonna make me feel cold. So having those elastic bands around the cuffs to keep out the elements like the wind is really important to me. Now the jacket has three different zipper pockets. The first one is an interior chest zipper pocket that I like to use for things that I don't want to lose, my valuables. So my wallet, cell phone, car keys, things that I need to be able to keep safe. It also has two hand pockets that are aligned to help keep you warm. They do have zippers on them, so you can keep things in there. Maybe your gloves and things that you might not be using, and you can zip them up to keep those safe so you don't lose those as well. And they also have a reflective logo that's located there on the sleeve. I always appreciate it when companies include reflective material on my gear. It just helps to keep me safe and visible in low light conditions. And in this case, I think it looks pretty cool. Also, another important consideration for me is how easy is it to maintain and keep my jacket clean? Because you bought this jacket to use it outdoors for all of the things that you enjoy doing, you know, hiking and biking, and it's going to get dirty. It should get dirty. That's what you bought it for to use it. So how easy is it to clean it? Well, you know, Nathan did a really good job here. They've made it super simple. There's really no special instructions that you need to have. You simply wash it in cold water with light colors, use a mild detergent, tumble it dry on low, avoid using bleach or any kind of fabric softener. Overall, I love the fact that they're using recycled material to make our jacket. The Pertex Shield fabric that they're using for the outer shell is both windproof, it's water resistant, so it's gonna keep you nice and dry and warm. And they're using a fill factor of 600 for insulation, which is an alternative down material. And the fact that it's alternative down means that it's also water resistant and it's not gonna lose any kind of its integrity or ability to keep you warm, even under some wet snowy conditions. I think it's well worth the 200 US dollars that they're asking for it. And right now, because you can find it on sale for 50% off, it's a steal at 100 US dollars. Hey, thanks for making it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it for you. As always, run tall, run strong, be kind to one another. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time right here on Run Tall with Tim.